I was inside when gunmen came to my house on Thursday, Sunday Igboho, popular Yoruba activity, Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho, has explained to BBC Pigeon that he was inside his house when the unknown gunmen came to attack his Ibadan residence on Thursday morning. He further narrated that he was in high house around 1.30 a.m. When, when he heard gunshots in front of his house. Sunday Igboho stated that they told him that they were DSS soldiers. He also explained that they told him to come outside. According to him, he, sa he said peeped through his window and saw dressed in DSS and Nigeria Army uniform. He stated that he was surprised that what could have been the problem because he did not kill anybody. The attack of Sunday Igboho's residence took place very early in the morning on Thursday around 1.30 a.m. It was learned that the unknown gunmen destroyed cars and destroy some other valuable items in the residence. Sunday Adeyemo, alias Sunday Igboho, is a business magnate, activist, and philanthropist. He is from Igboho, or your state, Nigeria. That is why he's called Sunday Igboho. Hmm. This man is indeed a great man. Let me put it that way. Because I've never seen someone like this. If truly he was inside his house, like he said, and he wasn't caught or nothing happened to him, then he's indeed a philanthropist, let me put it that way. But how did he manage to leave the residence unharmed? Because according to the story, they said there were um, bullets, um, there were bullets um, proofed everywhere that they, they shot around the whole house in the vehicles and so on and so forth and yet Ibuho claimed that he was inside the residence and yet nothing happens to him and the people that were inside they said two of his people were killed and one had abducted but they've we've also learned that the um adopted and uh, abducted um, um lady has been released why some people were saying that Dr. Lady was his wife, others were saying it was a close relative. But according to the story we heard, is that Sunday Igboho's wife is not in Nigeria, but rather she's not even here with the children. That um, it was just a close relative that was uh, uh, abducted. That they could, that maybe the government thought she was Sunday Igboho's wife. That was why they took the lady, but they later released her. Okay, and thank God to that. And we also say rest in peace to the dead ones. Let's go to the comment section and hear people's take on this issue. Shut up your one but you won't boast now. If na strong man way they claim to be, why you no show your face? Make them see you. Ha! Huh. Are you for real? Does one show his or her face in such situation when you see DSS in your compound and you already know what they came for? Sunday Bose already knows that he's not safe anywhere. But if and indeed that he's not a strong man, then he would have probably been dead by now. But he's indeed a strong man because no one will show his or her face in such situation when you saw people with guns in your in the front of your house and you know very well that your life is at at stake then you will now volunteer voluntarily drop your own why will you volunteer yourself to them and give them your and surrender yourself to them so that they will willingly kill you just because you don't volunteer your own life right at least we will know the value of sunday Igboho's life so the fact that he didn't show his face is even a better and a great decision he took because huh, him showing his face then huh, what we are saying now wouldn't would have been a different story. Why someone say Maja Masa Lomo Ajago, okay? Must he face them immediately? Why you people just hate this man until these people finish all of you before Una go no waiting Sunday they try? Okay? No problems. Don't say that now. How can he do 
is rather condemn the devil please exactly some of you are foolish you want him to attack so that the government will charge him happy their plan is to set him up and persecute him exactly so that he should come out then the, when he shows himself or when he tries to fight back they will say eh he fought a um, Nigerian government, right? Just like they are trying to probe Namdekanu over things he didn't even do, right? Just like everything that happened in the East, they will put it on the head of ESN, claiming Namdekanu is the one sponsoring them, asking them to destroy police station and destroy people, right? That's not possible. He took the best decision by not showing himself what happened to your juju or has it expired? You fall my hand. I expect you to come out and use your juju to freeze them. Who is this? Gazab. I know. They are the one. Hypocrites. They will be the one to come out and say all sorts of things. The likes of Igbokwe. <laughs> what is your problem? It means you are benefiting from the happiness with Nigerians. As a young man like Sunday, what have you done to the community you are presently residing? You, you who cannot fend his household, talk less of the area, Omwali. Ah, who is this again? Hmm. The devil attitude of this correct presidency towards innocent human rights activists in Nigeria mm -hmm. shows that the seat of the Nigerian presidency has been attacked by terrorists now operating in the name of President Buhari of blessed memory. Hmm. Just imagine how DSS and Nigerian army are assassinating innocent citizens with hum humanity. Okay? Bandits, Boko Haram and Hesme and, and other northern killers are receiving courage. Why activists are being attacked? Why I don't understand Nigeria's system at all? Instead of we to call a spade a spade and support justice, we are all here criticizing Sunday Igbo and some people are saying a lot of things like saying he should have come out to show himself that since he has Juju, he would have protected himself with the Juju or face them. Just imagine that. We Nigerians are the problem of ourselves because we never support each other. Instead, we keep on saying bad things and speaking ill of ourselves. So tell me how come, how um, a Fulani man will not come and rule Nigeria or should I put it, a, a Sudan man will not come and rule Nigeria and claim to be our president without be even knowing about it. When we ourselves are not even in support of each other, when they talk now they will say um, one Nigeria. There is no one Nigeria anywhere. This Nigeria has been long divided without we knowing about it. Instead, we are here fooling ourselves, thinking what uh, by uh, advocating against um, Sunday Igboho and um, um, Namdekanu is going to help matters. Okay, now, um, since the arrest of Namdekanu, has it released all the banditry or all the terrorism going on in Nigeria? Has it released, has it stopped or reduced anything? No, it hasn't. So what are you talking about? They are all claiming Igbo and um and Namdekanu are the problems we are facing in Nigeria. Why they themselves, the presidency, are the huge problem we have in Nigeria because they won't call. They keep on calling Ketu black. Why they themselves are not even a saint either, but they keep on trying to push all allegations or every evil thing happening in this country which they are the cause on the heads of innocent citizens so tell me how we can call this country one nigeria definitely we are not